What's up, Haunters? Today we're unboxing the Spirit Halloween Rat Inflatable, so let's get started. Alright, so for all who don't know, just the other day it was my birthday. And for my birthday, my parents got me this inflatable right here from Spirit Halloween, along with another one from Walmart, and I really love this inflatable. So today, we're going to unbox it and check out everything about it. I did already open it just to quickly set make sure it all worked and to grab out the stakes from it for my Christmas inflatables, but this is going to be my first time actually taking a deep look at this, because this I never saw set up at Spirit Halloween, I don't think. This was new for 2023, so it's a fairly new inflatable for this year. But right there, you can see how the rat looks. This inflatable is awesome. I think I talked about it a little bit back in around March when I made my first sneak peek video about the inflatables. And I, I think I said how much I like this guy because he just looks so awesome. But basically, it says it stands 3.5 feet tall. It has bright LED lights in the eyes there and in the body. And of course, inflates in minutes. And of course, on the back, you can see more specific details if you want to read through those. Basically, there it is. This inflatable originally retailed for $25, I believe. It may have been $30. I'm not fully sure on that. But yeah, this guy is pretty awesome. And of course, it was sold at Spirit Halloween. So now that we took a quick look at the box and everything, how about we get this guy boxed because he is a cool one. All right, so opening up the box here, which it does have a weird box. Compared to Jemmy Inflatable, Spirit Halloween ones have a very thin and tall box, which is a little bit weird, but different companies do different things. Of course, open this up. I don't think the stakes are still in here because I took them out, but we got some instructions right here which are very simple. This mainly says a bunch of warnings and stuff about it. And of course, next up in here, we've got the actual inflatable, which something I noticed is Spiral inflatables are very light. Unlike Jemmy, they don't feature sandbags in them, which isn't the biggest issue for me, but I found it kind of interesting. But right there, you can see its face. I love how detailed the faces are in these. <laughs> they look awesome, like even all those little marks on teeth. That is so cool. And there's little eyes right there which glow red. And of course, inside the inflatable also has little LEDs which are nice. And for all those who want to know what type of fan it uses, it's just a simple small fan for a small inflatable. And right here, we've got the adapter. So there's the rat inflatable. So how about now we inflate this guy to check him out? All right, so here is the inflatable, which I have got to say this thing looks so awesome. Now, unlike the box, what it said, it said 3.5 feet tall, but actually it's about 3 or 5 feet long. Tall-wise, it's about 1.5 feet, but I don't really care. It's still very long for <laughs> what you're getting, and this thing looks so awesome. I love the tail on the end. It looks really nice, like how it sticks up like that, too. Then you can see the lights in it. It has three bright lights right in there, which shine in the body and light it up very, very nicely, like how that is. The fans located right at the back there. It would have been nicer if it was located under the tail because usually it's better when they're a bit hidden away, but it doesn't really matter too much. It's not too visible. And of course, on this side, we can see its head, which I love the detail on this. The ears look pretty nice. They're just kind of like a pink on the inside and then the bluish grayish color on the other side, so that's pretty nice. Right there, you can see its mouth, which looks so creepy. It is sad that it's kind of hidden away under there, but... That mouth is so spooky. And we've got its red glowing eyes right on the side here, which I love the glowing eyes. And this, all the different details they added of like just all the wrinkles and the fur on it. It's just so crazy how much detail they put into the faces compared to Jemmy. Really makes it look more realistic and everything. And yeah. So there is the rat inflatable, which I've got to say is a really awesome inflatable. All right, so there, of course, was the Spirit Halloween Rat Inflatable, which is such an awesome inflatable. I'm so happy to have this in my collection, and it's my second Spirit Halloween Inflatable I've gotten now, and honestly, Spirit Halloween Inflatables are really good. Now, for how good they are working outdoors, I've never had any problems with the other Spirit Halloween Inflatable I have. It always works perfectly, never any problems, unlike some other brands I've gotten inflatables from before. So, if you're looking to get some Spiral Inflatables, I would definitely recommend them. They're really great. And especially this rat one, it looks cool. And I can't wait to have this in my graveyard next Halloween. 
But anyways, that is it for today's unboxing video, everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy. I will have another inflatable unboxing come out next week of the Tombstone with arm from Walmart, so get excited for that. And with all that said, that is it for today's video, everyone. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.